Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Cooking Squatch, or as I like to think of it, recipes so simple even I can do them. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make applesauce. First thing you do is get in the Wayback Machine, go back 15 years and plant an apple tree. Well, that's how we did it. Uh, just cut out the little dead bits. You need to have uh, these are the last of the apples next door, Alice. That they're passing out uh, five hundred dollar fines if you leave your fruit on the ground because it's a bear attractant. I googled it, and they've actually fined sixty people in Coquitlam. Some of the apples, you know, cut out the bad parts, cut the rest. That's all you want to do. A lot of people take off the. They core them and they take off the skins, but you know there's a lot of a lot of flavor in the skins. So unless there's some kind of buglies living inside when you open it up, put the whole damn thing in. You know you can see they're they're there. if they're all messed up, you don't want them. You know, but they also they don't have like that thing. What are you going to do with that? Cut that piece off. Cut the rest of it off. It's a piece of crap. All right. No need to use those ones because we got good ones. So you want to make sure when you're doing this that you have a uh, a really heavy pot. I mean like the bottom. So that it doesn't burn. Well look, it looks like this one had open ass surgery too. And, and our apple tree is a five way, but it, it makes an incredible applesauce. They're really good eating apples too, but you know. How many apples can you eat? I'm using a lime today because that's what I got. Squeeze out the juice. I'm going to use a couple of limes because it's a big pot. Alright, so now you just dump juice of two limes in there. Cinnamon stick. It's a big pot, we'll use a couple. And that's it. Put a lid on the pot, set it at low heat, set the timer for 20 minutes, check it every once in a while, give it a stir, and when the apples are soft, we're ready to go. Okay, so you got to stir this every once in a while. It's been on for about 20 minutes, but it's a big pot. It's getting there. Some of the apples that were on the top, I have to rotate those down. I'm going to give it five more minutes. This is a food mill. The apples are all ready to go. Turn off the timer. Turn off the stove. I'm going to let it sit for a minute because it's hotter than hell. And then I use this food uh, mill. We'll remove all of the seeds, all of the skins. So I get all of the flavor from those things without uh, having to eat all the skins and stuff. These things have been around for like a hundred years, but it's amazing how many people have no idea what they do. Absolutely the easiest applesauce ever. Okay, so like I said before, this is the food mill. So get an appropriate sized pot for the food mill. Sit it in here like so. So it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold. It's still really hot. I, I let it cool down, but I had company. Duffy stuff by to watch a little bit of the ball game. And then I threw them out so I could finish doing this. Just start scooping this stuff, the apples, into the food mill. And then you go all old school. So in the bottom of the food mill, there's all these little holes. Too small for things like seeds and skin used to go through. So in the bottom here you end up with instant applesauce. No added sugar. A couple of cinnamon stick. And remember, always leave the kitchen as clean as you found it or the lovely Lisa will yell at you. And no 